Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to focus on some five broad areas. I'm going to talk a little bit about daily screen usage. Um, how much screen time are people actually looking at on a daily basis across Asia Pacific and are there certain differences by country? But when we think about 8 hours, 11 hours, and we're not talking just about people in the room who probably do spend that kind of time and a lot more time than, than that on screens, but on an average, in Asia Pacific, people are spending over seven hours, seven hours and 19 minutes to be very precise here, on, on as screen time. This is across multiple screens. So there is, of course, duplication there. And this is higher than the global average, which is at six hours and 57. So yes, a lot of time being spent, and in Asia Pacific, it's higher than global. What's also interesting is, what is driving this higher use, uh, screen time in Asia Pacific? And what we see, it's actually, when it comes to TV, globally, it's, uh, it's higher than Asia Pacific. So 104 minutes in Asia Pacific compared to 113 global for TV. But all the others, so your smartphones, your laptops, slash PCs, and your tablets, Asia Pacific is higher than global. So there's the digital dry devices are actually driving this difference between Asia Pacific and global. So more in interesting, I mean, people here in this region are actually spending a lot more time with their digital devices compared to global averages. But at the same time, when you look across Asia Pacific, what it also does hide are, it, it is a region which is comprised of markets which are at different stages of evolution. And that is also reflected when you look at the variations in screen time across the region. So Indonesia and Philippines, for example, they lead the region for the total screen times with both coming out at more than nine hours. Japan has the least time across screens, but still more than five and a half hours. So there's a significant amount of time which is being spent by a market, by a country which comes at the bottom of the list as well. Thailand, Thailand Philippines, Indonesia, easily lead with the tablet screen time here. So you can see there, there are a lot of these differences which come across between sort of your more developed sort of markets as well as the more kind of emerging markets in, that re in the region. Um, the next thing, when we start looking at what happens on screen usage, are there any variations? And there are, there, it's not like the screen, uh, there's a lot big surprise here on this slide. You see that peak happening on TV in the evening, as would be expected. What we do see is that the smartphone usage is much higher through the day. But what's also interesting is kind of the interactions that you see where you, where you have a TV peak, but you also have a smartphone peak, and you have a little bit of a tablet peak. So there is that interaction which is happening across devices in that, you know, in that part of the day. So, the, I mean, and that also is an interesting implication in terms for marketers because people are using multiple screens at the same time. And then, then I guess the next thing is, leads us to, yes, they're using multiple screens, but how are these screens being used? What are these screens being used for? And that's where, again, we start to see, uh, before I actually introduce the differences, I really want to talk to you about uh, two concepts that we've looked at, really. One is shifting where they're using a single screen or simultaneous usage of screens, which is at 39%. Now, 61% of the screen viewing is in isolation. But when you look at that 39%, that's also higher than the global average of 35% on multiple screen viewing. Thailand, Philippines, South Korea, Indonesia, markets such as this, and again, you don't have to remember all this, this is all there uh, in the link that I'll share with you later, but all these markets have about 45% or greater screen time, which is being spent with multiple screens. Huge implications, huge implications. Markets like Vietnam, China, and India have lower levels of multiple screen usage. Now, when we start looking at it in the context of devices, and what you find is that tablets and smartphones have this highest proportion of simultaneous usage. Again, not a surprise. We would expect that these devices have higher levels of simultaneous usage that comes through. But if you think about it, 37% of, uh, of smartphone time and 58% of tablet time is being spent alongside another screen. 
So there is content which is being com consumed simultaneously across multiple screens. Again, okay, huge implications in the way we communicate across the multiple touch points to consumers. The next bit, which is when we start looking at simultaneous screen usage, there is another concept which comes into play. There is simultaneous screen usage which is on related content. So when consumers are using more than one screen, when they're using multiple screens, are they using it for related content or are they multitasking, basically on unrelated content? So meshing is when they are using two screens but for or more than one screen for related content. So that 39% simultaneous that you see, 17% of that is meshing, using it for related content, 21% is stacking, where they're using multiple screens but for different content not related content. Again, interestingly, this multi-screen usage varies by countries. And where you see the differences coming in, Australia and Japan, a lot of multiple screen usage, but more of it going into stacking. So they're multitasking. They're not necessarily using two screens to do this, or you know, watching something on TV and finding out more about that on their smartphones or something. They're using multiple screens, but more for stacking. On, on the other hand, when you look at markets like Thailand and Philippines, there's more of meshing happening. So if they're watching something on TV, they're probably going onto another device to find out more information around that. So again, I mean, intuitively, when we start thinking about it, I think some of these makes a, you know, make a lot of sense in terms of consumer behavior and how they're actually consuming content across multiple screens.